Hi, it's been a couple of weeks. My daughter and I made these um, sketchbooks and uh, we used uh, bamboo paper. And I didn't put a cover on mine. I mean, I didn't put nothing on my cover because I wanted to put some watercolor ground. Daniel Smith watercolor ground um, creates a paintable surface for watercolor. I'm sure everybody has seen this before, but I'm going to do it myself so I can paint on this surface. You're going to want to put it on thick. So we're just going to paint this on and this makes for a really short video, so there is something that I'm going to paint, but <laughs> um, this will be something that I'll be painting on in a future video. So, and I'm thinking we're going to do it on both sides. And it says that if your watercolor ground gets thick, which mine was really thick, I can um, uh, thin it out with 10% of water. Okay, so that's really nice. And I probably have to come back and paint on it again later, but I'll have to let it dry. So then we're gonna also do on the back because I can't see not painting on the back of my sketchbook. So, and the inside is all good. It's all paintable paper. So we're going to put this on here and dry for 24 to 48 hours before painting on it with whatever you want to paint on is meant for watercolor. I'm thinking I'm going to use some gouache. I don't know. We'll find out when that time comes. So as you can see, I, I put a thin coat on it and, um, think I'm gonna have to let that dry I'll put a little bit more on there maybe I won't have to come back and paint more on it I don't know I don't use it a lot but at least I mean I did buy it so I use it a little bit and it's arty stuff so we all love arty stuff. Okay, so that we're gonna leave like that. And um, we'll put the cover back on that. We'll add some wa water. Well, you know what? I spilled the water and that's okay because I have, I am not the first one to spill the water. There was a cat in the room earlier and he decided it was okay to spill the water on my keyboard. So there's that. Anyway, I will wash out that brush um, a little bit later when I get done. And this I'm gonna set um, off to the side so it can dry. Well, I don't know where I'm gonna put it for right now. We'll put it off to the side. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna take this little bottle of water over here. I wanted to show you something. Um, uh, everybody has seen this book recently, and um, I'm going to go through the pages again, like this pages, my little tiny watercolor book, because, I mean, you've seen all these pages, and yes, I left the tape on that one on purpose. Morel mushrooms are delicious. Here I was down by the ocean. A limpkin, a wading bird found in the south. That's a pretty bird. Here we were on the beach, and yes, there were sailboats out there uh, by Yorktown. Um, this is in Minnesota. My daughter has a little pinwheel sitting out in the yard where Fester sleeps. It's her cat where he, he permanently sleeps. Some watercolors and this is pretty similar to what Fester looked like here is a Christmas bulb and a boat and I did a video on this here a rabbit doing 
lunching in uh, Mr. McGregor's garden because that's always fun. And then there's a Christmas tree and then a bouquet of whatever you want to call them. Weeds, flowers, things, stuff. I made some fruit and I left this one for last because this is the one we're doing today. And I've decided that we are going to, um, I'm using sketch ink, so this should dry pretty quickly. And we're going to make some little gnomes because because they're easy and quick to draw. Oh, that's a hat. There's another hat. And the neat thing about little gnomes, you give them a nose. Like that, and like that. So they've got noses. And then you give them beards. Like that. Dad. No little feet. Little feet here. We're finding happiness wherever we can. And uh, today it's going to be in these little gnomes. Yep. Just like that. Then we got to make their hats pretty because that's fun. And um, once again, I'll be moving to uh, West Minnesota, which is perfectly fine. There's a lot of things to go out and, and paint out there, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. I found a good job, so hopefully um, that works out really nice. I'm pretty excited about that, so yeah. This one has a really weird hat. And um, for all my friends and everybody else that's watching, you know, you should always, always look on the bright side of things, even if it's difficult. So here we are making little gnomes. And we need to write the date on this one because this is the last entry in the book. So it's 1 10 23. How's that? There you are. And it's sketching. We got to let it dry a little bit. But in the meanwhile, we can talk about these paints that I'm going to use. These are handmade paints that I made and I put them in quarter pans quarter pans can you believe it they're so tiny yep and we're gonna put some paint on that there red put some red in there red come on with the red I don't, I, I, I've sold a few of my handmade paints. We'll give him a red, um, 
outfit too. And don't forget the red nose. Red nose, red nose, red nose. <laughs> Sorry, I do laugh at my own stuff, I guess. Okay, so now we're going to dig in the yellow here. And I believe the yellow and this red and this blue, I think these are Daniel Smith colors. I'm not sure I mixed these a long time ago. So this is a little orange. Or you can have an orange outfit. And this guy can have a blue outfit, a watered down blue outfit. We're also gonna put a little blue in the sky. Shine it up. And one of my books will be done. And a green hat, or that yeah, green, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is not green. Happy little gnomes. I have a friend that decorated his tree outside as a gnome. Oh my goodness sakes, it was so fun. I really, really like that. All right, and beards aren't totally white, unlike my hair, which is totally white. Just so you know, I used to be brunette. And now, I'm not. All right, black shoes. Come on, black shoes. I'm using a size two, a Skoda Reserva. In case anybody wants to know. And yes, it's natural um, squirrel hair. I know some people don't like that. We also need a floor, so we're going to use this ochre. It's kind of a uh, brown ochre. All right, these guys might be standing in line for lunch, or they're getting ready to sing. I mean, it could be anything. I have no clue. We'll let that dry. I'm gonna show you these. Okay, so if you go out on um if you go out on um Amazon you can buy these quarter pans. See see how short they are. For paints. And I have this tin that that I put them in. So yeah. And just so you know, this here, um, this tray here is actually a serving dish for a um, dollhouse. And yes, it is ceramic. So how super cool is that? I'm going to wipe that clean. It is. It's ceramic. And I used um, double stick tape and I put everything in there. So, yeah. <laughs> always, always arting something. Hey, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me and sticking with me all this time on my um, YouTube channel. I appreciate every single one of you. And um, I hope you have a great 2023. All right. Bye. Um. I said bye, but um, I actually want you to like and subscribe and share it with everybody. That would help me out too. So thanks. All right. Bye.